Ve şimdi misafir konuşmacımız Hinkley Center for Solid and Hazardous Waste Management Direktörü John Shirt'ü konuşmasını yapmak üzere kürsüye davet ediyorum. Please welcome John Shirt, Director of the Hinkley Center for Solid Waste and Hazardous Waste Management. He will provide his views and experiences about the Republic of Turkey. I am. Um, I'm just a simple garbage man. <laughs> I'm a garbologist here at the university, and I get to go to the landfills and exotic places. And, um, so uh, earlier this year, I was attending a large international conference in Istanbul, and uh, my, my colleague John Balaban <clears throat> put an email out for me saying that I was going there and I was interested in any kind of um, learning about Turkey. So, I was flooded with these emails from people uh, from all over saying, oh my goodness, you know, you're going to this unbelievable place and these people are so hospitable and kind and, and uh, open and welcoming. And it was just this um, enormous experience for me. So <clears throat> when, I, when I got um, HM and I'm not at the rock. And um, you know, Americans aren't real smart about foreign things. And the word Ottoman, I thought Ottoturk was O T T O T U R. I didn't get it was A T A. So I was confused for a long time about who this man was. And um, the thing that struck me about this gentleman is that we don't have anyone like him on him in our history. You know, we have a George Washington or a um, or Daniel Boone or, a, or Thomas Jefferson. Um, but we don't, I don't think Americans can really understand um, a figure this large. We don't have um, you know, kind of heroes as large as this man in our culture. And um, it, it took me a long time to uh, kind of grasp him. And when I, I, I went to, um, uh, and he's, he's sort of this larger than life figure for someone visiting your country. I mean, it was, it was very large. And I was, we were, our meeting in Istanbul was at this big um, military museum. And I was struck, I, I took some photographs, I didn't know I was going to be doing this. And I took these photographs of some sayings of his in Turkish and English. And I was just struck by sort of his vision and his um, poetry and his ability to um, to see things in the future and to, um, you know, this, uh, this is sort of my poor prayer, paraphrasing of this Turkish uh, talking about the equality of men and women and, and his vision for that. And, um, and I checked it with some Turkish folks to see if I sort of got it right. I think I did. Um, this is Aslan's father there and um, everywhere I went, you know, I was struck by you know, this very powerful presence in the room of this um, you know, real historic man. And so I'd ask people, you know, tell me about this gentleman. And um, uh, to hear the stories about him was, you know, pretty impressive. Um, I had a lot of tea while I was there. And um, I'm kind of a, a Japanese tourist. I'm sort of a little shutterbug. If I see it, I take a picture of it. So I sort of view the world through, through my eyes. And so I'm going to just show you some photographs of things that sort of impress me. This is the school that Aslahan's mother is the general director of. And way up at the top there, you can see Aslahan's picture. I sort of, um, oh, and then in, I don't know if you've been to this museum in Gaziantep. It's, well, it's really unbelievable you see in the mosaic. And um, too bad these lights are on up here. But these are mosaics that were taken out of a um, Roman city that eventually went underwater. And when I told Dr. Phillips, who's the vice president of the university he's, um, of research, he's one of my bosses. I have a couple of different bosses. And I told him I was going to Turkey. He went, oh my goodness, I spent some time in the museums because it's like the crucible of civilization. And um, you know, Dr. Phelps is a very wise guy, and I'm told he spent some time in museums and you know, looking at this culture. It, it, it was very powerful and really public. 
these were sort of taken out of this Roman village that was since under water. This lady's last eyes sort of follow me around the room. I think she's kind of famous. And um, I was just struck by, I was watching these children. Um, they, they're at the grave, but they're looking down at this grave. And, and I was struck by how um, in the United States we're sort of focused on each other, touching each other. You know? And all over Turkey I, I saw people, you know, being openly affectionate with each other. That, that really had a uh, really profound impact on me. And I thought about, we, last year uh, my wife and daughter and I had a woman from Brazil living with us, she's from Brazil. And she was talking about how Americans are very cold people, you know. And so it was, it was interesting to just sort of, you know, uh, travel around and not make a rock. This was unbelievable. This is um, in Gaziantep. This is in the ancient part of the city. And this is an ancient Roman bath with very, very cold water where the Romans would go to hang out during the day when it was very hot. And um, I thought, wow, you know, free air conditioning, you know. <laughs> This water is very cold. While I was there, we went to um, Adana to have lunch with the American uh, consulate there at this incredible Hilton Hotel. I've been a lot of places around the world. I've never seen a Hilton like they had in Adana. And we went past this castle, you know, on the road from, you know, it was just this massive thing. I thought, wow, how did all the energy it took for people to get that all the building material up there, you know. Uh, I mean, I just felt it was so small when I saw this, this thing. It was huge. The, um, the agriculture around Gaziantep, um, Aslan's father is sort of a professor of pistachios and baklava and things like that. <laughs> and and the, just the, um, you know, this picture of all these people working out of these huge fields and uh, to see how, um, it was just, just as a, as a Westerner, it was very impressive to see these kind of scenes. They, um, they took me into this, um, I'm not even to in, into this market, and uh, it, was, it was a real rich cultural experience. Just walking around this place and seeing all this stuff that was for sale, and I bought this massive, you know, this we had bought of in this place that wasn't to die for. And uh, these guys, they were so proud of their bought of um, I bought this massive knife, but they wouldn't let me bring it home. They spit on the guy and I this big kitchen knife. And I, I had some of his coffee in this. In the market, we ran into these men who were selling their agriculture. You know, it, it was just so refreshing to see this kind of scene that's played out. Or these gentlemen, you know, deep in conversation. I, I don't know if you've ever been down the street, but it's quite an amazing street if you're from, you know, City Board from Florida, who goes to the a lot. And then just to watch the tea, the tea, you know, all these people passing the tea was, it was really neat to watch. Or this fellow, he was beating grass into these little um, things he was making. And then, then I flew to Istanbul, and the taxi ride from the airport to the hotel was along with a Oscar. And it was, it was so different. You know, it was so, it was such a different experience from Gaziantep. Um, this was uh, up on top of one of the big hotels. I, I kind of snuck into first class on the way over. So I met some wealthy people who stayed at wealthy hotels. And I got to go up and you know, see these beautiful folks. And this, these bridges are just, you know, you can see why there's so many engineers in Turkey, I guess. This really struck me. That, that sort of the old and the new. And over there, they're filming a television commercial way up in the air. That's a, that's a boardroom for this uh, credit card company. And um, if we could zoom in, you'd see movie cameras up there. There's all the people sitting around this table. I thought, what a you know, old and new kind of in that culture where there's these unbelievable contracts. And anyway, I, I, that's, that's my last slide. And I um, want to thank you for letting me share some of my rambling with you tonight. Uh, you, you come from an amazing culture. Uh, you know, we're, uh, your country is, in one sense, 85 years old, but in another sense, your culture is a very ancient culture. And, and um, our, in our culture, we're a bunch of mutts from, I, I'm German, I'm Dutch, and we're sort of from all over, but you folks have this sense of a uh, place about yourself and your history that, 
for someone visiting your culture, it's just a very powerful and positive experience. So thank you for your attention. And I hope you enjoy the pictures. Thank you, man.